welcome to the channel thank you for checking out this video in today's video i'm going to show you how to do a basic edit in lightroom giving you some settings to enhance your photos let's jump straight into it so we've imported this photo into lightroom straight away and the first thing you're going to do is go to lens correction and make sure you've got enable profile correction on what this is going to do is remove any warping or distortion from your lens if you watch the image here if we untick it you can see that it's distorted the image so always make sure that's clicked on first and also remove any chromatic aberration is ticked so that's step one now we go into our basic tab and all we're going to do is input a couple of um, settings that's going to really enhance your photos so the first thing you want to do is go to your white balance selector and select something white in your image in this case i'm going to select this tent here and that's going to give us the right white balance to begin working with next thing that you want to do is if your image is slightly dark you can raise the exposure up to brighten it or if it's slightly bright you lower your exposure to bring it down a little bit darker in this case our image is fine next thing is contrast we're just going to enter 25 and that's done now we go to our highlights and very simply our highlights anywhere brightness in our image we can lower it and it's going to bring out the details for example the clouds in the sky here now a great setting to begin with is negative 60 that's going to give you good results our shadows if we raise it up it's going to pull out the details in our darker areas so a great place to put this is plus 60 bang simple next we go to our whites and blacks and there's a little trick we can do here hold down left shift on your keyboard and double click on the slider and lightroom will automatically adjust it for us so we go to our whites hold down left shift double click and there we go lightroom's plus five to automatically adjust it for us we do the same with the blacks hold down left shift and double click negative 15 and Lightroom does it. Uh, next we move on to our presence. We've got texture, clarity and dehaze. And these are very, very simple. Texture brings out all the finer details in our image. And a great starting point is plus 20. Clarity is all the medium to large details in our image. For example, the outlines and the tents in this particular image. So again, we go plus 20. Very, very simple and a dehaze is just going to remove any fog or haze that's in our image and I always like to go plus 10. Now vibrance and saturation is a, confuses a lot of people. What's the difference between vibrance and saturation? Well our saturation if we raise it up it's going to boost all the strong colors in our image. If we raise the vibrance it's going to increase the colors all the colors in our image. So what I like to do Go so plus 25 on the vibrance and plus 5 on our saturation. Very, very simple. And it's looking absolutely fantastic already. Next, we're going to close our basic tab. And all we're going to do is go to detail. We're going to go to sharpening. And we're going to change our sharpening to plus 75. And finally, we move on to the masking now. And what you're going to do, you're going to left click on your mouse and hold down left alt on the slider. And as we begin to raise the slider up, you're going to see that all the outlines of your objects or subject in your photo begin to appear. And you're going to raise it until only the outlines of your objects or subject in your image are, are, are outlined. And in this case, it's about plus 80. And there we go. Very, very simple. Now, if you press Y on the keyboard, you can see the before and after. So there's our before, there's our after and wham bam you've done it in a couple of minutes very simple settings if you put them setting in, settings into 99 percent of your photos you're going to get much better results let me show you them full size now here's before and here's after so there you go thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up down there somewhere if you want to see further videos from myself, try and find that subscribe button now that YouTube have hidden down there. Uh, my channel's all about cameras and photography and filmmaking. 
why not check out some of my other videos? There's bound to be something you can watch. If not, why don't you just check out this video here and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon, guys.